COVID-19 is one of the deadliest pandemics in recent history. But, the coronavirus infecting thousands of people today, is different from the coronavirus that was found in China, nearly two years ago. In fact, scientists have observed that the coronavirus we see today has mutated hundreds of times, resulting in the four variants of concern we experience today, the Alpha, Beta, Gamma, and Delta. In particular, the Delta variant has proven to be far more contagious than its predecessor, with a study estimating it to be twice as contagious. It is currently the most prevalent variant and is known to have led to lethal second and third waves, in countries like the UK, the United States, India, and Taiwan. So what is so different about the Delta variant that makes it so deadly, and to what extent can current vaccines protect us against it? Firstly, how is the Delta variant different? When an infected person coughs or sneezes, aerosol droplets are produced. The coronavirus would then enter the body of a healthy person when he inhales aerosol droplets containing the virus. After entering the body, the virus moves down the respiratory tract towards the lungs, via the trachea, or more commonly known as the windpipe. The virus infects a specific group of cells that line the respiratory tract, called the epithelial cells. The virus gains entry into the epithelial cell when the spiky surface proteins on the virus surface bind to the ACE2 receptors. As the virus spreads across the respiratory tract, the lungs inflame and create breathing difficulties, or pneumonia. In human cells, DNA determines the type and structure of proteins produced. Likewise, in the coronavirus, the three-dimensional structure of the spiky surface proteins is determined by its RNA. In the Delta strain, the RNA coding for the spiky surface protein has undergone several mutations. As a result, the spiky surface protein synthesized has a different three-dimensional structure, with a higher binding affinity for the ACE2 receptors. The spiky protein once presented on the surface of the coronavirus allows it to infect human cells far more easily. For example, Chinese researchers have documented that individuals infected with the Delta strain have 1,000 times more copies of the virus in them than those infected with the original strain. Consequently, the Delta variant is 50% more contagious than the original strain. However, how different are the symptoms and effects of the Delta variant from the original strain? Recent studies have shown that typical symptoms of the original strain such as cough and loss of smell are less common amongst those infected with the Delta strain. Instead, other symptoms such as headache and sore throat are more commonly displayed. In terms of severity, a study in The Lancet showed that unvaccinated individuals infected with the Delta variant are twice as likely to get hospitalized. This shocking data is seen not more clearly than in India, one of the countries most affected by this strain of coronavirus. In April, over 90% of all sequenced genomes in India belong to the Delta variant. Simultaneously, the number of new cases averaged over 200,000 per day, while the number of deaths averaged over 2,000 per day. Now, are current vaccination efforts enough to fight the Delta strain? Vaccine development began almost immediately after the pandemic began, when the Alpha strain was still the dominant form. Though an early start helped us quickly manufacture vaccines in large quantities, it also meant vaccines were optimized to protect us against the original strain instead. So, when the Delta variant surfaced, the vaccines were found to be less effective at protecting people against it. For example, a study published in the New England Journal of Medicine showed the efficacies of Pfizer and AstraZeneca vaccines to drop by 5 to 10 percent for the Delta variant. However, the genomes and structures of the original strain and Delta variant still share many similarities. So, most vaccines can continue to provide some form of protection against the Delta variant and its symptoms. In hindsight, how worried should you be about the Delta variant? The higher infectivity and severity of the Delta variant means we certainly need to act more cautious than we have ever been. From wearing masks to safe distancing measures, we need to more strictly adhere to measures designed to contain the spread of the virus. Although vaccines are not 100% effective, 
getting them is important as they still protect us against the full-blown effects of the Delta variant. We have come to the end of the video now. Hopefully, it has answered some of your questions and if you enjoyed it, consider liking and subscribing to the channel for more videos like this.